Now, thread, in this case, in the claret one, I just used black. You, know, you could use red or wine or whatever colour. It's up to yourself. But black was the main colour. Now, I'm just going to wax the thread to get it started. Now, the hook I'm using, this is a uh, full mill. It's the all purpose medium. It's a medium wire hook. So, we just start with thread, remove the waste, grab the fly. In this case, I'm using this is number 16 uni, uni miler and peril, which is uh, equivalent to a small. So, we wind this down as we go until we reach basically when we let the thread go, it's in line with the point of the hook. Now, this, this, the claret I used, I'm just going to show you the feathers. This was a natural, it's a white CDC. And what I did was I dyed it. It was basically to get a pinky colour, a fluorescent red, and then dark claret. Just enough to get, so it wasn't too dark. But you can see the colour there. It's very magenta like at the start, but it's got the darkness there. Now, this is a Obviously, a medium to large size feather. What you do is you simply do a turn and pull it into the tip of the the feather, and then nice and tight wind up. Now give yourself plenty of room for the thorax. So you're looking just slightly more than halfway. Now I'm going to come this side of the the rib, do a turn. And then when you start to spin or tighten up, the CDC is a wind. So I hope give you a taper. Catch this in, nice and tight. I'm trim that away. And then you wax my thread. Bring a rib up. Now, to protect the rib, you could use a wire, fine wire, but we don't want a lot of weight. So what I do is the side it touches the fly, I just lightly touch it with some super glue. This will cause it to stick. And then we wind, wind up. Don't be shy with the turns. And then tie it in. Any these fibers just leave them it's not going to do any harm to the fly just tidy this area up legs get some pre-knotted pheasant tail legs these are small the small ones now in a size 14 i would use four but in this one i'm going to use six the other side of the body obviously give them a count them out so before you tear them off it's harder to see the older you get there's six there so what i do is make sure the knots are tight, so I just run my fingers through it. Bring them 90 degrees from the stem, and they should line up, and you can tear them away. And then what we can do is three either side of the body. I say the eyesight's not as good as it used to be. Uh, one short, but anyway, I'll get another one. Now, length of the leg, not too long. You're looking at, look at, at least the length of the, the hook. Once you tie them on this area, they'll be far enough back. Couple of turns to hold, then go back for my missing leg. There we are. I think the older you get, the more double vision you get, I think. Now tie that in nice and tight. Just gonna wax my thread again. Just make sure these are well tied in. Get them in the position that you like. It's because you can obviously wrap some thread through and encourage them to sit a certain way, but if they're sitting okay, you don't need to do that. That's fine. Now get some roe deer. I want some a nice light tip. See that nice brownie tip. So what I'm going to do here is, you don't need much. Cut away from the skin. Open out the cut end fibres and take away any underfur. Then we're going to put it into the, st the stacker. Tips first. Put them in. Tap on your desk, then we can remove it, and you can see there the tips are sitting now. Best to take it out of the way you're going to tie it in, rather than, say, putting it in your right hand, in my case, and then going back. By putting it into this, you can actually get it dead straight, and there we are. So, get our length. 
then tie it down with the length, as you can see, is basically just to the back of the hook, not any more than that. Secure this in. Now the CDC, when you obviously when you use it, the body feather, you get these at the bottom of the feather. Trim them away. Yeah, trim them, and then so obviously we get some dubbing. Now don't be shy with this. Put plenty on. So you like a lot. I like to put a lot on here because it helps to float the fly. And then we just form like a ball. Uh, CDC, good sized thorax. Even if you've got to work up and down, do that. Just stroke it back. You need a bit more. Don't be shy to put more on. I'm going to brush this through with some Velcro. So, and when you fish this fly, you want to use your floatant, and then obviously put it onto the. The CDC fibers. Now, what I'm going to do here before I finish off, I'm just making sure I've got enough. But careful with your thread, just take out the way the Velcro. Use the Velcro to bring it out. The rougher times are better than this. That's fine. Then, what we want to do to varnish, just from the eye, to just brush it down about a centimetre. The varnish, this is just a clear varnish. And then straight away again with wet finish. This will lock in your wet finish. You don't need to get in there and varnish now, that's really strong. Trim that away. And there we are. That's your Bob Spitz, it's our CDC version anyway. So I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs>